one must really hurt. It probably seemed that you were the better team, um, certainly for the last 40 minutes. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with you there. Um, thought we were really good. Did a lot of things really well. Probably missed a few moments that hurt us on the scoreboard. But, yeah, in terms of what we're after uh, from our group at the moment, I couldn't be yeah, any prouder. It's hard to... You know, I feel like I've been saying that after a few losses lately, but you know, I think everyone can see how the boys are playing, how committed they are. Um, you know, just out to, yeah, They did a lot of good things today, um, and they're pretty devastated in there because there was so much effort and put, them, put ourselves in a position to win, but um, it is what it is, and we've got to deal with that. We've got to get our heads back up because we've got another game next week against Newcastle before we have the bye, so um, that's going to be a really important game for us at home. We can't feel too sorry for ourselves here for too long. Um, but what we can take away is a whole lot of belief because there's a lot of things we're doing that are working. You asked for some consistency of effort. Um, you certainly got that, even if it was you know, a little bit ugly at times. Um, you must be pretty proud of um, how the boys performed in that area. And also, uh, after the, um, I suppose, the, the week that you had leading up to, to it with the, the flooding of Balmore and uh, you having to come here earlier. Yeah. Um, I think we've been one of the most consistent teams in terms of effort and attitude. I think every game they've turned up and competed really hard and while everything hasn't gone our way, we've, we've had the same effort and attitude every week and I, I'm, I really hope that's making our fans proud and for them to see that and, and I do know that if we keep having that effort and attitude and, and learn, from our, learn from some of these losses and win more moments, then the results will come. But um, yeah, the week we, know, we knew we were massive underdogs. Um, yeah, we, we had to adjust our training a little bit um, at Belmore and come down here a little bit earlier. And um, we lost probably four forwards over the last couple of weeks, but not once during the week did we think we'll come in here to make up the numbers. We thought we had a really good plan that we could, um, yeah, we could come here and, and play some footy and play to win. And I thought we went after that probably a little bit better in the second half, maybe than in the first half. But I still thought we created opportunities in the first half. We just probably didn't take them as, as well as Melbourne did in the first half. But um, yeah, as I said, I hope, yeah, I really hope our players are starting to believe as much as I am. Must be excited about the combination between the Fox and uh, Chip Bronson Cherry. It looks like it could build into a pretty lethal one. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with combinations across the park that are building. Um, you know, Connor went in there to fullback today, so he had to work on his combinations, and Critter went over to the right edge and work on his, but we all, they're a really connected group, and they're, you know, they're, they're, um, they're showing that on the field, so. The combinations are evolving, but the left edge tonight was certainly pretty good when they had their, their opportunities. Stephen, what's the belief like in the group? I mean, yeah, you've had what, a couple of really tight losses. Is, is there still plenty of belief there that you guys are <coughs> certainly tracking the right way? Yeah, 100%. I think this is what we've been um, practising for and we've been in um, every game this year. We've been in the game and been in the fight. Um, but like, like Coach said, just missing... Um, in a few moments, key moments where we could have uh, capitalised and um, bounced the ball could have went our way. But yeah, there's a massive um, belief in there of what we're doing, that it's working and we've been in every game. It's not that we've been blown away from the other teams. And yeah, they're a top four side. And um, yeah, just the, the way that the boys hung in there the whole game. Um, yeah, there's massive belief there. Cameron, uh, how did you see uh, Sam's uh, sim winning? Um, yeah, I sort of thought it was a dominant tackle. He came over the top. Um, you know, but we're only watching it from afar, so um, didn't see it up close. But you know, I thought I thought really proud of our guys the way they reacted to that. You know, we've been working really hard on our the way we react to adversity, and I thought we just embraced that moment. We went down to 12 players and just like got excited by the challenge. So um, that's what I'm most proud of. Hey, uh, pretty uh, special performance from uh, Josh O'Carroll on the, on the left side. Yeah, he's um, you know, he's been pretty frustrated by the start of the year and a couple of injuries and. You know, we want Josh just enjoying his footy. He's happy off the field. He's he's happy at training, and he just need to get a bit of a bit of space and time on the field. So to see him come back down here and you know, place he's, he did really well at and play the way he did tonight is really uh, pleasing for us and good signs for us moving forward. And you have the, uh, the dual threat with Jacob uh, on the right hand side. He you know, produced a scintillating performance, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. We had to we adjusted our team a little bit this week and um, a bit through necessity and injuries. And but I thought, yeah guys across the board, no matter where they play, like Jacob's played uh, centre wing, Critter's played left side, right side, full back, and I think they're just um, enjoying the challenge and not worrying about where their position's at, just putting the team first and and really competing hard, so that's the most pleasing thing about everyone in the team, but Karaz tonight was just, he was, 
he was a real workhorse, especially in the first half when we were sort of in that heavy grind. I thought we, we as a team, we looked really good in those grinds and Jacob was leading the way there. He was really strong in his carries and getting us on the front foot and um, his game's evolving nicely. What did you make of Connor Tracy at fullback? Yeah, he was good. He was safe. Um, yeah, again, a guy that brought the back, ball back really hard. Uh, he hasn't had a lot of time there in terms of reps during the preseason, but um, yeah, I thought he did a really good job. Back on Addo Gar's performance, do you think that can then kickstart him for the rest of the season now? I hope so. I hope he can do that every week. Um, yeah, we know what Josh can do at his best, and you know when he's on the field and and um, getting the space that he got tonight, like that's he's he's really hard to stop. So it was just good to see him enjoying his footy. He's um, he's a really important part of our team. So yeah, it was good to watch. Do you think a game like tonight can build a little bit more belief uh, in in the boys now? Um, yeah, you can. I mean, it was only two points tonight, but you could beat anyone. Yeah, I hope so. That's that's what I said to them earlier. Like, it's, I hope they're believing as much as what they're making me believe in at the moment. Um, we're doing a lot of things right. All right, the the ladder and the scoreboard is probably the worst indicator of our performance right now. We've been really consistent in effort and attitude. We're competing hard in games. We're fit. Um, yeah, we just when we win more moments, we'll win more games. Thank you. Thank you.